Good evening. April 30th. Seems like it should be April Fools because we're about to go over the Walton County election and the upcoming candidates and the current situation. <laughs> okay, we're going to run that down on Saturday night. And uh, so I think we're going to start out with Danny Gladwell running for District 2. Here he is swearing in in his first win when he got ready to break all the promises he made to everybody in the south end of the county. And you know who's running against Danny? Nobody so far. We heard other people were, but just nobody else step up. District 2 just can't produce a good candidate. I guess y'all just, I don't understand it, District 2. Why can't some of these dirtbags move into District 2 <laughs> and run against Danny instead of running against the good candidates where they don't live? But more on that later. So nobody has filed against Danny. He'll just walk right on in and hadn't done a damn thing that he told us and isn't going to. He's not going to punish anybody who's done wrong except the people he got talked into by lawyers. He spent with a temporary lawyer. He basically, even though he's done a few good things, he basically is useless. He's just another yes man who went to the other side. And it'll come out what he knew. He just ain't done nothing about it. You know, and he's buds with all the people that wrote him up before. So, you know, that that's Glidewell in a nutshell, running unopposed. Nobody should run unopposed in America. Okay, on to the District 4 race. So we got one good candidate so far, and then we got the ghost candidates coming on board. Donna Johns, who's the current Mosquito Commissioner, who's actually done, her and Doug Lyles have actually done everything they said they would do when they ran for Mosquito Commissioner. She's now throwing her hat in the Miramar District. So here's the wild cards coming out of that. Let's get Danny off there, because Danny's not in the Miramar District. God, I wish they had the commissioner at large. Speaking of large, oops, sorry. Anyway, we'll get to the Miramar District. And here's a great picture of the Miramar District. You know where this is? This is Sandestin. You know who designed this house? Who's the general contractor for this house? David Buchanan, the first person running for district four who's pre-filed now it says it doesn't say who's giving him any money and he doesn't have a candidate statement listed at bobby beasley office but he's up there running so let me tell you who he is first of all let me also point out that part of the show tonight is about the south end of the county and mostly that has to do with the sba the small business association so for you voters don't out out there there's a few good people in that but it's run by a bunch of lawyers and developers, basically, who put people up to things and try to convince small businesses that if they don't follow the rules and don't go along with the good old boy corruption way of doing things, that they'll just fail, which is false, when actually the corruption is what's making the county fail. And it's making stuff like what's behind me. So what is behind me? What is behind me, if you've watched my shows, is part of the half a billion dollar fraud. And what is David Buchanan, who appears to have pre-filed for county commissioner? If it's the same, if it's not the same damn David Buchanan, but it is. He lives in Driftwood Estates. Why is David Buchanan running and who is he? Well, the opinion of Alan Osborne is he's a political crony. And he, David Buchanan is currently in a lawsuit that you can look up, case number 2020, CA. 000381. He's a defendant. You know who sued him? Me. <laughs> He's part of the problem. He's part of the half a billion dollar fraud. He's associated with this group right here. Look him up in the Destiny Worship Center. Old Steve Agalas. What's up, Steve? Because I'll say what you said to me, Steve. But this is what general contractor David Buchanan, who wants to represent Miramar, represents to me, a flooded neighborhood. Because David, before he started construction on this house, he was sent a package, and I've got a copy of it. He was sent a package telling him what the standards are, but he went to Jason Catalano, who's later running for school board. He signed as the floodplain manager, even though David's not even, Jason's not nothing to do with an engineer. 
And what they did is this is a general contractor who's built to, I estimate, and I have an expert report, only 10% of the requirement. And he did it with old Carrot Top. Carrot Top design, oh, oh, you know who it is. He's this guy. Anyway, so David is running for office, but he ain't got no money. But I'm telling you, he'll be back by big, uh, big religious money. I don't want to say church because it says Destiny Worship Center. I think that that's privately owned. It's, I don't know, church, worship center. I go to churches anyway. There's a lot of good people that go there. But I'm going to tell you, there's some of that church's money or some of Mr. Vigalis' money, he admitted to me, was invested right here in this property. So I bet he'll be back in Buchanan. But hey, hey, David, have you read the expert reports that I submitted from Dr. Harper, the county's expert, that says this thing's only 10% compliant, but you build it anyway. See, David needs to be in office. That way he can be part of the good old boys and they can protect him for giving him all these permits on the download. See, he, all these code complaints weren't actioned and he's sitting right in the middle of it. And he's well connected and you go look him up and, and this is a bunch of BS. David, you don't deserve to be in office. You built this mess next to my house and I want every citizen in Miramar and the county to know this is what you represent to me. Stick it. Okay, moving on to the next candidate, Chaz Galloway. Chaz, you're going to be like George Wallace Smith. Your, your gig's up. Chaz said something to Bobby Beasley the other day, something about the big news coming out and it won't matter, so whatever. Anyway, that's Chaz. He's not going to get about as many votes as 2008 George Wallace Smith. Anyway, moving on to Donna Johns. This is the only legitimate candidate until we find out if Trey Nick is going to rent an apartment and not live in another place that he's the commissioner of. Because he didn't live where he said he lived the first term. So we're going to see if he's going to come rent an apartment and drive back and forth across the bay to represent Miramar for a $42,000 a year job. Who's, does that even smell right? See, Trey can't give it up. He's got to keep Scott and all them employed. Moving on to the next race, School Board District 2. Kim Kirby, she's done an okay job. Uh, but nobody's running against her. And I think, Kim, you need an opponent, not that I am have anything to say negative about how you've been on the school board. So I'll just move on to District 3. In that race, we have Bill Eddins Jr., who should have never been on the school board. But, oh boy, we've got an ex-county commissioner who got his road paved in front of his house in the road, Gordon. Boy, I'm not excited about either one of you being on a school board. Not a damn one of you. So, God, can District 3 produce a candidate for school board and can District 2 produce a candidate for county commission? We got Donna Johns. We'll see. They'll probably probably put so many people in there and split the vote because that's what the good old boys do. But well, we gotta, we gotta bring it on home. And then I'll, we're gonna move on down. So we're looking for a candidate in District 3. Ain't got a good one. Ain't got a commission candidate in District 2, except Danny Lidewell. And we'll go down to the supervisor elections. Ryan Messner, I don't know you, don't have any bad paper on you, but the fact that you worked in that office and all the crap I've watched go down over the years, I just look at the payroll on that thing and think y'all need some new leadership. And I believe Dan Curry's it. Because Bobby's a go along. I know all y'all love Bobby, but whatever. Go along, get along, Bobby. Whatever. I, you know, I watched Jerry Jones hand out dollar bills at the back of the courthouse, and I'll take an affidavit oath to it. Told Bobby he never did anything. So I'm going to go with Dan Curry for some new blood instead of recycling somebody out of an office. I want to offer them some leadership. And I believe Dan Curry, I gave him some money and I'm going to support him. I believe he's got the guts for that. So my money's on John's and, and uh, the Alan Osborne show is supporting Dan Curry. And we'd like to support you. If you could be an honest politician, come debate me on the Alan Osborne show. Prove to me you're honest. Hell, I'll give you some of my money too. And that, you know, that's kind of how it is, but we don't vote. This is who Buchanan's part of, in my opinion. And this is actually what his license is on. You look at that. Hey, the South Walton 
go back to the South Walton Business Association. You know, they had already backed the lawyer. You know, old, old Shipman, or I took a Shipman is what I say. He's all involved in that lawyers. That's the last thing. They wanted to back this lawyer. They'd already backed him. And then they found out he had not been a commissioner or excuse me, a Republican, I believe, long enough to run for office. Does that bother you? I think he was a Democrat, became an independent, and now is trying to be a Republican long enough. Some lawyer, man, that reeks of you, Felder. Small Business Association, y'all need to quit this crap because the stuff going on is ruining the county and the bay. And y'all need y'all need to start thinking about this whole community instead of how y'all can make it do what it, you want it to do because them days have got to come to an end. We're all sick of the traffic. We're all sick of the lies. We're all sick of the non-enforcement. And I think most of us are sick of this being the only system. The th the three little pigs in the center, and the two guys on the end. Well, Tony's been better on the left, honestly, but Nick. This is a flush right here. Anyway, he's he, he just not helping anything out. But that's the upcoming election cycle on the Alan Osborne show in Walton County. And it's coming to it's coming to a Walton County near you. We'll see you then. That's the way it was on April 30th, Saturday night on the Alan Osborne show. Y'all keep straight out there. You hear?